Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yunus Shafiri is here and in this video we are going to see 7 tips on how to become a better Android developer. Let's get started. So the first tip is to drink more coffee. Nice. I'm just kidding. The first tip is to use Kotlin if you are not using it. I know most of the Android developers now are using Kotlin, but still some code bases are written in Java. There are legacy projects written in Java. If you can, try to convert this project like class by class or feature by feature to Kotlin and start new features always with Kotlin. That will help you use the best practices and the features of Kotlin in order to do many things, for example, for concurrency, for using coroutines, for using concise code. That will help the project to grow and thrive. So Kotlin provides many great things that, that I said that will help thrive your project. It's expressive, safer code. You can use it to jet back, compose, structured concurrency, and so on. So if you are not familiar with Kotlin, this page, I will put this link in the description below. It will help you get started with Kotlin and see the best practice and what you can do. So the first tip, as I said, try to adopt Kotlin if you are not using it. It will help you a lot and it will help you become a better Android developer. The second tip to become a better Android developer is to read other people code. So here, for example, I'm in GitHub. I'll put this link in the description below. This is, this is an application called Jet News. It's a sample like new news reading app, but it is built with Jetpack Compose. This is written by Google team. So by reading other people code, you can see and compare the way you write code versus the way they write code. Like here, for example, this code is written by Google. I'm not saying that. Google code is the best code ever, but you get to compare how their code is better than yours. You'll see how they are separating their code. You will see how they are using best practices and so on. Like this is one of the best way to grow as a developer, to read other people's code, to see what they are using, what hacks are using, what they are doing in their code in order to make it good, in order to make it testable, maintainable, and so on. So always there is this Android like organization here. You can see architecture sample, component, architecture component, like test samples, I guess. Yeah, exactly. There is many repos here you can learn from. Like this note in Android also is a good project here to start. Like you will see this is a multi-model thing. Like you can go here to the core, for example, module, see the data, uh, for example, see the main, okay. Like how they are doing this model repository, sync utilities. Like just by reading one method, one interface, one thing, you will learn many things. Because by seeing the code, you will learn much better than reading articles or so on. So always try to read other people's code in order to become a better Android developer. The third thing to become a better Android developer is to start caring about your app architecture. Start to learn about design principles and also start to learn about separating the concerns of your application. Because especially when you start Android development, you will put everything in the activity or everything in the view model, right? You will put the code of the database, the code of the network, and you won't be separating layers into your application. So start caring about this thing because this will allow the project to grow and it will allow maintainability, testability, all the other great criteria about software development. So there is this page called Guide to App Architecture. It is Google recommended architecture for building Android apps. Like it's simple, it's just separating the application into three main layers, the UI layer, the business layer, and the data layer. All right, so if you can read this and get the sense of what they are doing, it will be awesome. There is, as I said, the samples now in Android and Jet News, and you can start learning by each layer, what's the purpose of each layer and how you can implement it in Android. And also what are some specific Android classes you can use? For example, the view model, you can use it here. The data layer, I think you can use it also. Let me check. Exactly, here's the life cycle thing, here's the threading, how you can do it and so on. You can learn also about testing this domain layer, for example, testing data layer, testing UI layer, and so on. So as I said, caring about your app architecture is important to become a better Android developer. So I will put this link in the description below so you can refer to it when you are ready to take care about your app architecture. Number four of our list is the fear of missing out or the FOMO. Like in Android or any other field of software development is big and there is always new things that are coming up. So if you are a beginner, don't try to cope with everything new. For example, if you are just starting learning about, for example, Android and you are just learning about the XML, start with learning the basic principles and don't just go for the Jetpack Compose because everyone is talking about Jetpack Compose. You will always see new things, right? For example, there is this data store as a replacement for shared preferences. I will do a video about that if you want also. Like there is always new things that will come up. 
So to become a better Android developer, don't fear of missing out because you won't be able to learn everything and to know everything. There will be always things that you don't know. So just be comfortable with that and learn the basic and the solid main principles like for example for testing for mutability test separating our concerns and so on these are the basic things learning about activity life cycle learning about view model how to architect your application well and you can always expand your knowledge when needed all right so don't fear of missing out if you want to become a better android developer Number five in our list to become a better Android developer is to start learning about testing if you are not testing your application. Testing is one of the fundamental principles for software engineering. In order to build better software, you have to write some unit tests, some integration tests, some end-to-end -end tests. Why? Because in order to maintain your application and to refactor it and to add new features, to fix bugs and everything, you have to write tests because tests will allow you to do all what I have said right now. So testing Android is a little bit different, like we have a mobile device, so there is this kind of instrumented test. And there is also this notion of separating your concerns, as I talked back in point number three, is to design your architecture well. Well, one of the points for that is to enable testing. To enable testing on different layers. So you can test the domain layer, the business logic layer, without the need of testing the UI. Because if you put everything, for example, in the view model in the, or in the activity, you can't separate the testing. You have to test everything. And you can't just test it like that, the activity. You have to do a UI test in order to test something that can be tested with unit with small chunks of code, right? So always separate your concerns in order to do better testing. So this guy help you start with testing, especially in Android, like how you can use Espresso and Compose UI, how to write small unit tests that runs on your local machine that will be faster compared to instrumented tests that will run on the device. Exactly how they are talking about approach to decoupling. So if you extract part of your function class or module from the rest, testing is easier. That's the thing I'm talking about. And testing enables something else called productivity. You will be more productive if you test. That's counterintuitive because if you write tests, you have spent more time writing those tests, but this will pay off in the long run. So we will gain some time in the long run. Don't think about tomorrow, think about the long run for this project. So here you will see like testing, local testing, instrumented testing, espresso, like lot of things, a lot of good things to learn testing. This is one of the fundamental things you have to learn. So if you want to choose between testing and between Jetpack Compose, start learning about testing, it's better because testing will stay with you in the long run. But Jetpack Compose, it's only for UI and it's only for specific need. But if you learn about testing and let's say you will change your career, for example, to something else, to Android development or sorry, iOS development or web development, the principle of testing will stay with you. But Jetpack Compose won't stay with you unless you will do like desktop or something related to Jetpack Compose. The point here, as I'm talking, is to learn about the fundamental principles. So if you want to become a better Android developer, learn about testing and learn about the principles that doesn't change. And now number six in our list to become a better Android developer is to create a habit for learning at least new thing every week or every two days or every three days about Android. So there is a lot of ways you can learn about Android from the community. Like there is this page on Medium, for example, Android developers, the official Android developer publication Medium. You can learn new things. Try to make, for example, at least one article per day, for example. I can learn one article per day, per day for example, or per week. Like try to create a habit because consistency will build up. There is this, as I said, Android developers. There is this pro Android dev publication. They have multiple also articles. There is Ryan Underlish. There is some a YouTube channel you can learn from. For example, Philip Blackner. For example, my channel here, Unisha Ferry, and many other things. The point here, I'm not just talking about the publication of the channels. The point here is to, I'm talking about the habits. If you can learn three things per week, for example, about Android, this will build up for 12 things in a month. And you can multiply it also by 12 like it will be 144 new things about Android per year. That will massively grow your Android development career. So in order to become a better Android developer, start by creating a learning habit. And for number seven, it's not actually a tip, it's not a kind of an advice, and this will vary from a developer to a developer. If you can buy and if you can afford a better machine to do Android development, try to do that because this will help you a lot in order to be more productive, in order to learn faster, in order to complete projects faster and so on. Like especially with Android and Android Studio because it's required a lot of resources to build the project and so on. So only if you can afford that, consider it as an investment for your career and for yourself because this will help you a lot in order to become a better Android developer. 
So these are seven tips to become a better Android developer. So to recap, try to use and learn about Kotlin if you are not using it yet. Number two, read about other people code in order to learn new things. Number three, start about caring about your design and about your architecture. Number four is don't feel of missing out. You won't be knowing everything in Android. So be comfortable with that. Number five is to learn about testing and the fundamentals of testing in Android. This is a crucial skill to learn about. Number six is to create and build a habit for learning new things in Android. As I said, weekly or daily or as you like, but create a habit for that. And finally, if you can afford a powerful machine, try to do that and consider it as an investment for your Android career. So this is it for this video. If you have another tip for becoming better Android development, please comment it out. I will be happy to share that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.